DJ Envy from Breakfast Club. Oh, boy. Did you see this, sir? Yes. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. DJ Envy from the Breakfast Club confronted Jesus and Mero. Now, the Breakfast Club does what, actually, every morning? The morning show. But what do they talk about? Everything. Okay. Just, just, just. You don't listen? No, I listen. I listen. I just, I'm trying to. Are you trying to build a funny? I'm trying to build. <laughs> I'm trying to lay the groundwork. I'm trying to lay the groundwork for where this story's going to go. I like the Breakfast Club, by the way. I, 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 I yeah, they're okay. You I don't like it. the other show either. What I don't like either show? one of the shows. I don't like the Hot 97 show or the Breakfast No, I don't listen to that one. I neither one of them are great. No, 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 not for nothing, but the, what are you talking about, the Ebro morning? Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. I don't listen to that. That's yeah. not, uh, Breakfast Club is what's popping in the morning, period. If you say so. No, 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 just critics' opinion. I understand. Okay. Um, well, Deez and Samero, for people that don't know, they had a podcast. Right. Well, maybe they still do, actually, I think. Yeah, they do. Called the Bodega Boys. Yeah, they're funny. And now they have a new TV show. Right, very funny. I like and, them. No, I like them too. Yeah, they're I like them too. So they've been on, um, uh, what's his name? Charlemagne's show that he had. It's not It's not on anymore, but he had a show on MTV too. I can't think of it. I don't know. X Study. He's there. He's, he doesn't have to do nothing. But anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Charlemagne has pretty much endorsed these guys, you know, and pretty much I think that kind of gave them more light than because because of him, right. more people know him. But anyway, I think they're funny. So anyway, DJ Envy and his wife were on an episode of The Real. Do we know what The Real is? Yes. All right. The four broads. That's what yeah, they're talking. Yeah. All right. Uh, and the topic was they were discussing cheating. And Envy basically was saying how, what type of time it was in the house because he had cheated on his wife, Gia, and... uh for all who don't know, he cheated with Erica Mena from Love right, and Hip Hop. Right. You know, I just want to just throw that out there so right. y'all know. Just so we know. Just so you know, because you know, I like giving y'all facts. No, we Sometimes have, we I don't got, give we, you facts. We got to keep it. We got to keep it, you know? keep it 100% petty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> so we do. <laughs> so anyway, you're an ass. <laughs> so um, the lyric that he said was, I was DJ Envy in the streets. And I was Rashawn at home. Right. And Jesus and Mero had took that video and audio and had it on their show. And they were listening to it, doing their little commentary while the interview was going on. And when he said that line, one of them said, what did he say? He said, well, you she was, knows who you are when you get that DJ MV money. Checks. Yeah, the DJ, with the, the DJ MV checks, right. Correct. What, what would you want to say? Oh right, right. The yeah. wife said, "I don't, I don't know DJ Envy. She don't know who right. that is. Who she know is Rashawn." And then Jesus said, "You know DJ Envy on those checks. You know DJ Envy checks." Now, when I heard that, this is somebody from the outside looking in. I didn't take that to be. You chuckle. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's funny. You don't say, "Oh, that's cold." Yeah, yeah, listen, <laughs> there's a lot of ways that we could look at this situation. Right now. I got several ways that I've looked at this situation. At first, when I saw that he was super angered about that whole, I'm like, nigga, stop. It is not that serious. You up there pouting, arms folded. Arms folded. When dudes come in, and and the reason, and I'm feeling like the reason why he's ready to like be on his thug shit and mad is because his wife was like, let me tell you something, nigga. I don't like that comment. And when you go to work tomorrow, you going to let them know to put some respect on my shit. Now, you know, and I know, what that spouse heat is. <laughs> How would you know? No, 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 no. no. Listen, listen. How do you know? No, no, I know. Oh, I, know. I know. No, 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 I know. Oh. When your oh. spouse <laughs> is not happy yeah. with some shit that you do, whether it's at work, whether it's on the outside, it don't matter what it is, you're going to fix that shit so that listen, you're good when you come listen, home. There's a 50-50. Listen, now, I'm up, we're going to do some math here. All right, let's do it. There's a 50-50 heat factor, okay, in a normal relationship. Normal. <laughs> if you ain't doing any dirt, and I ain't doing any dirt, right. relationship, 
50-50. Right. Okay? You do some dumb shit, you're going to get heat from me. Right. I do some dumb shit, I'm going to get heat from you. Right. When I go fuck Erica Mena, right. it's 90-10. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain. Let me, you see, you see, what it, is 50, 50. it is now over here. So now we have that Erica Mena heat factor goes 90 10. So 90 get, though? Yes. Now I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it in, in, in terms that the streets can understand. Okay. Your ass is on probation. That's a death. <laughs> That's a death. You are on probation. That's a if you're death. Pro in fact, it's parole. If your parole officer comes over and says, I need a urine test, you give a urine test. Period. If your wife says, I need you to straighten that out. With you that, straighten you, it out. You straighten that shit out. Right. Because that 90, you, it's very hard to get back to 50-50 if That's ever. Right. That's that right. That probation is a long ass sentence, boy. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and that man is on probation. And it's evidenced every time they go somewhere. It's evidence if you look at his IG, look at my family. We're happy. We're in a helicopter. We're happy. We're spending money. We're happy. I won a lawsuit. We're happy. I got money. We're happy. No one gives a fuck about that. I got bullshit. a Kelly bag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? But you got to put that shit out it's there. Called, it's called overcompensating, it's my called, brother. It's called, <laughs> the, in, in this specific instance, it's called the Erica Mena payback mm, is what it is. I so agree. Let's, let's all be family. Let's all be happy. Let's be... DJ Envy and this and that and no yo yo it's my wife right it's my, what is it? but not for nothing you mad right which I thought that the comment really wasn't that serious but let what me just, but let me just say this who the fuck am I listen okay understood let, 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 right who the fuck am I something that can offend somebody might not offend me vice versa you so can't if, step right. if that's something listen I don't play with people when you want to defend your wife it could be something that somebody said that was super trivial to me but mm -hmm. if you were offended by it you have a right to be offended by right. it and you should speak on it. But I just feel that he overcompensated he because the shit is not right at home. You the conscience. Correct. Right. I just want to say this. In addition to that, people say little things, whether we feel that it's a big deal or a small thing, whether you might feel it was disrespectful, they are doing it. You know why? Because you put it out there. You disrespected her. But you this, disrespected her and allowed people right. to feel that they can say what they want for something you did. Your karma did. came around. If I, look at that. Here's your example. Your karma came around. Now we got to look like an asshole for this. But let, let me tell you. Honestly, this is something that really should... It, it, if this was a 50-50 relationship and he didn't fuck up and he wasn't on probation, this would have gotten handled before the show. Thank you. They've been like, look, what you said was kind of fucked up. You know, I'm not really feeling that. We're going to do our interview and stuff. I might mention it a little, but yo, what you did was fucked up. But to sit there like this. Yo, you know when I was laughing? When, when, when he, he was like, what did I say? He was like, you know what you said. Yeah, I'm a tough guy. Yes, you did. Like he was like, he was seven. Yes, but, you did. But but the funny part is, <laughs> but the, the funny part is someone said, you know, you guys need five minutes alone. And one person said, yeah, another one got quiet. <laughs> You know what I was thinking? No, listen. He was, I thought that was, like, he, was funny. he was sitting on ready, right? When he came when yeah. they came in there and he was like, Yo, I got a problem. I need to get it addressed. And he, yo, why I was just sitting there thinking in my head, why can't one of them right now be like, Okay, so I said it what the fuck so you let, want So do? let's address that. You know why? You know why? You know why? And, and, and you know why? I'm gonna come I'm back. A, I'm a, you're fucking right. I'm gonna tell you that you're fucking right. And let me tell you, if that was a different stature, those guys are happy to be on the breakfast That's club. That's right. If that was somebody he had to call to get in there, if that was a real celebrity, to hit, if Jay-Z had said some shit like that, Thank you. he ain't kissing his ass. If Freddie Fox or 50 said some shit like that, he's going to swing on him. Like Freddie he, Fox? But Freddie Fox is a good fucking guy. <laughs> Yeah, talk about your wife. What? Right, what right, the fuck? right. But 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 he knew who he was playing with in right. industry stature. And I'm telling you, my man, yo, my man was like, yo, we gonna do five minutes. We do five minutes. Mm -hmm. but he was like, yo, we just gonna take but it. But you there. know what, JF? That's a damn good point. If that shit was anybody, anybody else, else. there's two dudes happy to be there. And don't get, don't sleep on what you said before. There's got to be some petty bullshit with him and him and Charlamagne. Him and Charlamagne. You know they always. I don't think that's all love and roses right there. That's Charlemagne's boys. Right. He brought them up there. But you right. He brought them up there. But and I don't, don't think that they ain't talk it, about that shit before. I think before. he played it well because he didn't really pick a side. He Who, let him, Yeah, he let him air out what he his beat knew, was. No, Charlemagne knew just what the fuck he was doing. He knew just what he was doing. He knew that it, he wanted it to address it. 
Yeah, and, and, and he knew that he was not going to tell him don't now, come. Now, now, the best point I read on IG was for Mr. C. How the fuck you leave your own show? C posted that. He was like, you know what? You you know, Envy, you, he actually posted well, that. He, he, he said was like, that. Look. He was like, Envy, look, you know, you got your thing out, finish your interview. How the fuck you leave your own show? He said he, he was in that mode. It was, what mode? It was the mode where he they sitting there laughing and everything, and he couldn't. Fuck him. Fuck, if, he's in that, if he was in that mode, he would have taken care of that five minutes. Finish well, your show. I understand that, but can I just say this? I, I, and I'm not defending him in any in any way, but I will say this. Sometimes I feel better if I remove myself from a situation too. He started the situation. I'm just saying. No, I'm yeah, just this saying. was really. This was really. He did what he had to do for his wife. He 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 did his. He did it. He paid his penance or whatever. You know what I want to ask everybody, and I'm just curious to know. You know, just for the people watching, do you feel that Envy's actions were justified or was it a little bitch assness? It was unprofessional. Number one. We don't care about professional. No, no, you should. <laughs> no, he should. Look, if you got a problem with somebody, you got to address it. Before you can't. B- b- you got to do what? You have to address that before the show. You're in a, you're well, in a, this is what this is what he said. He said, being that he felt that they disrespected her publicly, that right. he felt that they should apologize publicly. And that's but they could have talked about that before the show, and he could have said, "Look, we understand you got a problem with that. We apologize. We offended you." Him sitting there all cocked up. Like it's commissary time, and here comes your man with the tuna fish and the hot shrimp. Yo, dude, that shit is not cool, man. He did that shit as unprofessionally as you possibly could. That shit was whack. That well, shit was whack. I don't know. So I'm telling you, that was the story. Um, that was the, the actually to me it was the comedy of the week. <laughs> I was actually gonna say when you said that he, that Nick Gordon called to police crying, I was going to ask you if it was Envy. You know what? Good but night. I didn't want to, I didn't want, I didn't want to jump the gun, but yeah, it might, maybe it was Envy who called, not Nick Gordon. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just think that overall, it was just kind of corny and like I said before, dudes don't feel comfortable to come for your wife and to say anything sideways out their mouth until you put your family in that position. Yeah. You and... would have never been on the show talking about cheating if you ain't cheat. How you like that? That's what I'm saying. What goes, what and then he said he was offended by it because how you going to say my wife was with me for the money and my wife was with me since I was 15 years old. And then with that being said, I'm sitting up here like, so you know what it is. Why are you mad? Yeah. I don't understand that. It was he, just he like had, I said. He had just, to pay his parents. It, 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 we can look at the chart again if you want. It's 90%, 10%. No, no, no. Okay, and that's what he's, he's got to do what she says 90% of the time. He can pick one thing that he don't want to do. It might be the garbage that week. But when he gets 10 demands, he's doing nine. I hear you. I hear you. 